What's up YouTube? This is John back with another episode of Engineering Awesome and today I'm going to show you guys my control panel for my CNC plasma. Now I'll be honest with you it's not quite done but it definitely functions and it, honestly I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. So let's take a closer look at it. So if you guys have seen my other post about moving the CNC plasma, basically using CNC control and Mach 3, then you know that I've already got the panel working. Now the panel isn't totally wired yet. I still have I think 11 quick connects to put in there just so that I can connect the other axes and all the limit switches that I want. Um, everything's going to be quick connect per switch which is going to be a little costly. Uh, and really kind of a pain to wire up, but because of that, it's going to be really easy to swap things out uh, in the future if I need to. So that's how I wanted to do it. Uh, that's how I went ahead and did it with this since I do have an Ethernet smooth stepper. It's got the equivalent of three parallel ports worth of I.O. So I figured might as well use it since I've got it. Now the motors aren't even really wired up properly. So I soldered them in and then just used electrical tape. I've already got the heat shrink. I'm ready to, to roll, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to do perhaps quick connect on this. Uh, I think what I've decided is I'm going to actually cut these leads off maybe three to six inches away from the motor. And I'm going to call that good because these are quick connected into the panel. I can swap them out that way. Just do uh, four solder joints and call it good. But uh, the main reason for doing that is because it's a shielded cable. It'll protect further up to the motor, less to worry about. So let's take a look in the panel. Just as a quick disclaimer, I do want to point out that I am very mechanical. I am not electrical. A lot of this kind of stuff I need to get help from friends with. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of research that sometimes dead ends, especially when it comes to Mach 3. So Everything I've figured out, uh, you just got to remember, I'm not, I'm not electrical, I'm mechanical. I'm happy to help anybody that needs it, so let's take a closer look at the panel and see what you guys think. Let's talk about the main components of building a system like this that you need to think about. First, you have the control board, which for me is an Ethernet smooth stepper. And then connecting to the Ethernet smooth stepper is actually my breakout board. This is a C25 breakout board. It's capable of producing uh, two parallel ports worth of I.O., which was in my situation plenty. Then because I have an Ethernet smooth stepper, I have two power supplies. I have one right here, which is a five volt. This is dedicated specifically for this board right now. I'm gonna have to add a couple more terminals to this block here because I actually purchased some five volt relays. Those will allow me to control the, uh, the torch and, and that kind of thing. Now next, I've got a 12 volt power supply. I'm sorry, I replaced this with the 24 volt power supply. And that is for the motors. Uh, you'll notice I ran it up here to this terminal block and it is right here for red and right here for black. Uh, and then I've got it jumpered across. And those go to my drivers. Now my drivers are in for this machine, at least to start with, are incredibly cheap. I went with the cheapest ones I could possibly get. Uh, I went really expensive on the uh, controller and I was worried about the plasma system creating some problems electrically and blowing components. I figured that if I'm going to blow components, I'd much rather blow some cheap TB6600s. So that's what these are. Now this block right here a lot of these home-built machines you're not going to find that in, but as you can tell, this whole panel here is really not something that you would normally find on a home-built CNC. That's because this is an industrial-grade control panel. Uh, I got this box off of eBay, and the reason why I went off eBay is because I was able to get this for 70 bucks. came with a back plate. It's got a document pouch so I can put a nice... 
uh, electrical schematic when I've got everything in here exactly the way I want it. And mine even came with a fan. Uh, the fan's a little weird. It's 120 volts, so I actually had to tap into incoming power. But whatever, that works. Now, you'll notice that this has actually got some components that are also a little weird and you wouldn't normally see. First off, I've got Ethernet. So the Ethernet smooth stepper, obviously, actually runs off Ethernet. That's how it communicates. That is how you're able to get so much I.O. out of it. I wanted to try it because, frankly, I didn't want to build another computer and the difference in cost between buying a similar board to like the Gecko, which is on my tag, and buying the Ethernet Smooth Stepper and then using the computer I already had and that has the license for Mach 3 on it, um, I actually end up saving money with buying this. Um, you'll also notice that I have some very different looking terminal blocks up there. The reason those are so different is because they're actually grounding. So they run through to this piece of aluminum DIN rail down to this back plate which is grounded. So that is grounded right here where there is additional uh, green blocks, green kind of tie-dye weird looking ones that grounds to the 120 plug. Now I haven't quite decided how I'm going to run 120 but it's probably going to come in through a main line. Uh, for four prong line, I'll run a dedicated outlet in the garage for it, that way I can ground, have 220 and I can have uh, my standard, you know, 110. So, as you can see, first off it's a little jank uh, with the plugged holes, that was a challenge for me as a kind of a beginner welder, but uh, I've got additional holes over here so that I can add torch height control for this one and the rest are, are limits. So. Basically, I've got the motors separated out. That's what those are. And this is the remaining I.O. for only port 1. Because the Ethernet Smooth Stepper separates it out based on port 1, port 2, and port 3. This board then breaks it out based on port 1 and then port 2. So I went ahead and separated it on this terminal block. Now, you'll notice one red wire here. That red wire goes to pin 10 on port 1, and I'm using that for e-stop. It's not wired up yet. The e-stop is actually over here on the front of the panel, along with what will be the wire, <clears throat> which will be the proper uh, sized SO cable, and I'll run that over here through the door. I just haven't done that quite yet. Now here, it's a little bit different. I've got one wire that runs in, jumpers across here and then there are 14 points right here that I can connect. This is logic ground that runs back to the board. Then here is my port 2 I.O. Uh, none of that is wired up yet but there will be a limit switch for the A axis which is slave to the X axis. Then the Y axis will have two and then the Z axis will have two. And then I think in addition to the Z axis um, down. I'm also going to wire in um, to the, probably the exact same limit uh, for down, the, the z-axis over travel down. Uh, that will be my sensor, whatever I end up going with. Uh, it's probably going to be a floating head uh, for the z-axis when the torch comes down. So that uh, is still kind of a work in progress, but the rest of this is almost exactly how I want it. I went with a, a proper high-end uh, breaker on that. I've got the higher voltage coming in separated out from the logic based stuff. I've got my grounds uh, pulled out as well. I didn't really want to do that on this block here. I figured it would just be a little bit safer, especially since these here are only for shielding. So all of that wire uh, comes in through here and is then shielded. Uh, and I don't have to worry about interference from the plasma. I'm going to buy a, a razor cut 45 uh, and it shouldn't shouldn't have many issues anyway so that is my plan with this machine and then one of the best parts is uh, I keep going on and on about these casters I'm going to be able to move this machine anywhere I need to in the garage or hopefully one day a nice shop and uh, I went ahead and bought a shielded 50 foot ethernet cable that I'm running it off of now with absolutely no issue and it's been phenomenal 
So I really don't know what else to go over with this machine. If you guys have any questions, uh, I definitely would like to answer anything. Uh, it helps me figure these systems out better if you guys ask me a question that stumps me. Now, for these components, I actually bought all this stuff off Amazon almost. Uh, the terminal blocks are off Automation Direct. Um, I, I can link some of that too if you're interested in it. But uh, all of the stuff that I used to build this unit, including the Ethernet smooth stepper, the drivers, all of that stuff, I will link down in the description. So if you're interested in purchasing any of it, uh, you can check out those links. It does help the channel out, helps me uh, fund some more of these builds. Uh, and so hopefully I'm able to help you guys do some of that too. So check those out. And uh, again, make sure you ask any questions down in the comments. I will see you guys next time on Engineering Awesome. Thanks for watching.